I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, hope you guys are doing well. Ripper back here again with this is a, just a quick video to show off the uh, power of the Druid versus Montana. And uh, let's talk about it. Hey, I'm doing a quick job right here supporting my Destroyer player. So very good technique right there. When you move, move together with maybe another friend of a Destroyer player that's on your same flank and support them. So right now the Yamagiri is spotting for me. So I'm going to go ahead and return the favor and provide gun power. We're going to go ahead and eliminate or try to eliminate the uh, Jutland here. Unfortunately, he goes into smoke. And uh, we're going to have to bail out or egress the area right here. Obviously, we got another destroyer over here, Udaloy. He's shooting at us, but we're going to use cover to uh, basically escape that. We'll go undetected. And uh, let's get into the bread and butter right here. Here's Montana. Okay, so obviously, we know we're going to fight him. Now, how are we going to do this? So he is trying to flank us over here, and I have to run away. But not before I'm spotted by the, um, the uh, destroyer again. So we are... Having uh, the Jutlin, who uh, creeped in uh, sneakingly inside that little uh, gap right there. And he's going to be spotted by the Yamaguri Forest. He opened fire, so now we are going to use that an opportunity to eliminate and help out our Yamagiri. Because the Yamagiri did so well at spotting for us. And, ooh, Yamagiri got an nice torpedo. All right, here we go. Here's what the video was all about. Let's see if we can take on a Montana head on, straight on, and see how it goes. Now, like I said, Montana, one of my... I would say favorite battleships uh, in the game. It was one of the things I granted out the first. And ooh, take a nose on HE right there. This is exactly what you should do. Uh, when you see a druid nose on, just take a fire HE right at it. That's all you really can do. And just rush a druid if that's the counter tactic to that. Now, as a druid player, how will I counter this? Well, I just go in reverse, pop smoke, and just see and wait for backup. So I call for my Yoshino in the back there. Yamagiri is also threatening the Montana with torpedoes. So. I never, I would never do this solo, but um, since I looked, I, I analyzed the situation and go, hey, I've got a Yoshino behind me. I've got a Yamagiri that potential throws a potential threat of torpedoes that way. Montana doesn't know that Yamagiri is on a position. He just doesn't know where the Yamagiri is. So again, he's kind of hesitant there. I call for uh, support and he's going in reverse and trying to delay this inevitability as long as I can. Since I know I'm probably I'm going to die here if I don't do something, I'm just going to go ahead and shoot and use the smoke as much as I can. i got torpedoes on the left, so I have to mitigate that. And now we're just going to go and take as much damage as we can off. The weak spots on the uh, Montana for our guns are the nose, the bow, and the stern. So we're going to just put as much AP as we can into the uh, the bow of the ship right there. It's just taking 780, 780, 780, as much as I can. See if I can knock down anything <laughs> I can do before my impending death right here and let's see oh here we go we're spotted right here he's got the guns trained he's got a 30 second maybe reload so ooh, ouch we take one right in the, the uh, nose here and we're going to see if we can put as much. We got to slow down. We're taking as much as we can off the bow. And then I'm going to switch maybe to the center. And this is actually a good test of the armor. Uh, oh, I can't get any pins right there. So I go a little higher, a little bit higher to get some more. Nothing right there. A little higher. Okay, here we go. And now here's the weakest part of shift. Stern right there. Oh, we get 3,000. 3,000. Here we go. Can we get pull this off? Oh, my gosh. The guns are not in position. He's turning away. Let's get the last 3,000 HP right off the bat. And boom. Thank goodness. We survive with only 7K left, and that is uh, all we can do against Montana. Anyways, that, I mean, normally <laughs> you wouldn't do that in competitive, but anyways, we did all we could. We were just having a blast just shooting a Montana. That is Druid versus Montana right there, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, we do get a CB trying to hunt us down, and please do not kick all our health right there, and that is why we save a damage con. We do not want to burn to that. We pop smoke and get out of danger, and not until after our team wipes off. And there's been a lot of blowout matches lately. I'll do a video about that. Was Why are there so many blowout matches like this? And... Uh, TLDR is probably because of subs and CVs, but anyways, I digress. We'll talk about that in a video, and I'll show a couple examples of that. But right now, you know, shooting the all sets from long range from downtown, and we're going to see if we can eliminate as much damage as we can. Look at that nice AP right into its broadside. This is what the Druid is powerful at, punishing ba uh, battleships that give you nice broadsides into their superstructure, and if they got weak side armor, that'll help us out as well. And if we do this, we might actually end the game, and boom, splash two and he goes down that is the end of the game right there but hey, i just want to show the case set off as to um, how i eliminate a lot of um you know not, i'm not saying that these uh these uh com are competitive matches but if you get an opportunity to play against a in a random game uh battleship that's nose in this is how i would uh you know mitigate that threat and try to take down a battleship before we uh ultimately potentially die in a druid most of the time uh, a destroyer going up against a battleship normally dies that solo head-on but 
hey, Druid's a knife fighter. I like to go down with a bang, and uh, that's it. But anyways, uh, Build is at the end of the screen. Again, appreciate all the support and uh, the com- community contributing, and uh, we're trying to make this a better place and learn something at the same time. Hope you guys are doing well. Stay safe. Make sure to say hi to us out there, and as always, cheers. Take care.